Hey Cancer, let's talk about your career and your money for the month of September. I'm actually going to go ahead and start by pulling a prosperity message that will reveal at the end of the reading. So you definitely have something to look forward to. We'll just put that over there. Okay. Um, but let's hop right in and pull a message of abundance, okay? These messages are for you if you have cancer anywhere in your chart. Welcome or welcome back to the Cancerian Vibe. I am she, the Boss Lady B. Thank you so, so much for joining me, you guys. Make sure you are subscribed for all your cancer, tarot, and astrology, all things cancer, um, tarot, and astrology, okay? Check out the description box for all the important information that you may want to know. But let's see what message do you have for Cancer. Cancer's abundance in September. Uh-oh. That was a lot that happened. <laughs> I feel like... um. I feel like someone's being guided to take some type of change. Like you feel, you feel in your heart of hearts that it's time for some type of change. And it's being divinely guided. But you may be a little bit afraid of this change. Um, maybe uh, kind of not necessarily embracing it all the way for whatever reason. But let's see what comes out. Message for Cancer's Abundance in September Spirit. What message do you have for uh -oh. Cancer? Quiet retreat, all right? So it's time to disconnect from the outer world so that you can discern and process your true thoughts and feelings from your inner world, okay? Create this quiet time for yourself and you'll have more clarity about what to do next. And see, that's exactly what I'm saying because I see these two doves. I feel like there's a decision that, that you're having to make um, and you may not necessarily know what you want to decide, okay? Um, and I feel like in this quiet retreat, you're kind of disconnected from the world. You may even be so disconnected that you don't ask for help or you're not in the place to accept help. So you do want to be mindful of that. I'm feeling this hermit kind of Virgo energy as we're going through this retrograde in Virgo, okay? So it's kind of like slowing things down, really, really checking in with yourself. That was the message for the first week of September, you know, being able to check in because your intuition is heightened, you know, you're in a place where you're able to really tune in and find the answers within yourself, um, but you have to quietly retreat and so sometimes you know i know you may be saying your prayer saying your affirmation sometimes you have to be quiet and listen okay like complete silence so i would definitely encourage um some sort of meditation breath work around decisions that you have to make around your money or finances um or your career this month okay but I will say to just be mindful not to be so disconnected that you miss out on asking for help if necessary or yeah because look voice is showing up here I feel like there is there's like this balance that you're gonna have to find between using your voice and then being quietly retreated away from people so like I said I do feel like you know if you're needing help ask for help that's not a sign of weakness at all but let's see. We're going to pull a couple cards. What's the energy around Cancer's money, career, growing up wanted to pop out here. All right. So look, it's time. I feel like... Um, I feel like this is an energy that you're in, Cancer, where you feel like you have to grow up or like you can't depend on people. That's why I feel like this funniness around maybe you asking for help or feeling kind of vulnerable in the sense of needing help because it's like you are trying to be um, independent or do something on your own, but there's power in network and there's power in um, asking for help. Okay, Cancer? But... Uh, you do want to, you know, kind of make sure that you are de are avoiding depending on other people and depending on yourself. I feel like that's a mindset that you've just been in, Cancer. Let's pull one more for Cancer in September. 
So, yeah, I am seeing just really this energy of, uh, okay, peace, Gaia. But we got beware that came out. Be prudent, okay, because things are not what they seem. I feel like that's definitely with this energy of things kind of being slow around your finances, okay? You also want to make sure that people that you are connecting with, you know, you want to feel everything out. You want to make sure that, you know, you feel comfortable okay um any type of commitments you want to be cautious of right now okay i feel like this is really a time where it's kind of like you're it definitely feels like it's a time for you to kind of go away and really reflect around your responsibilities around money your financial commitments, um, you know, financial responsibilities, kind of your budget. I feel like you're using a lot of caution when making a financial decision, which is a good thing. Um, I do feel like you do want to be careful not to um, overspend right now. It's kind of like, you know, with this growing up energy, I feel like you want to be careful not to kind of fall into old habits, right? You know, you don't want to create messes for yourself that aren't um necessary but there is this energy of like okay let's see i feel like someone's holding back on making some type of financial commitment um but this financial commitment see yeah it's like you're not trying to make a decision it's two of swords five of pentacles but i feel like you're not trying to make this commitment because it's like a a grown-up commitment like it almost feels like a mortgage for for somebody something that i feel like costs is very valuable or it costs a lot of money or it's like a grown-up um expense right but it's like you're trying you're avoiding making this decision around it so you know being in quiet retreat will allow you to be able to kind of open your heart and see the answers that you're looking for but i do feel like yeah there is this energy of money being slow or like you know yeah like more money going out than coming in at this moment but you have to find like peace in that yeah definitely that night a pentacle shot to pop over here i definitely it's like some money that's old to you is coming in slow or there may be even arguments around money so be aware about that that's what i feel like too hold on like, there may be disputes around your money, so you may even be finding yourself um, make, making, like, filing some type of dispute. So, you know, just be aware of, be aware of your bank statements and all of that. Because um, it's like something that you may be expecting to come to, it's coming slower. So, it's like, don't go into, don't try, don't spend money before you have it, Okay. You wanna, you do want to be careful of that, cautious of that. But I feel like there's there's conflict around money. Money situations could be moving very kind of slowly, but it's because the universe is trying to to show you how you can exercise your magnetism, that kind of law of attraction energy where you're able to just attract things to you. Um where you're being guided that's what i'm saying and i feel in this gaia energy it's like you're being guided to make some type of change whether it's a literal change or it's you growing up you know what else here for cancer being in nature could be really really um beneficial for you cancer i'm not gonna take all that but getting be, being in nature yeah, look, Cancer, your energy showing up the, the chariot. And there's something about the color yellow sticking out. I feel like the sun too. It's just this energy. Um, I feel like this is a this is the energy that spirit is trying to get you to adopt. Uh, this is that magician's wand. So you're able to kind of manifest or call things to you that's the energy that you're in but once you're open it's like once you kind of grow up out of um trying to avoid making this decision you may even be rebelling against other uh, other people kind of just yeah it feels very 
I'm not gonna say lonesome, but it does feel kind of um, like you're gonna have to kind of do something on your own, right? Uh, there may even be some traveling that you do on your own. Clarify the chariot, but I just feel like definitely you're able to, um, like you're able to realize the power that you have. You're going to, you're going to manifest something here with this magician's wand. Clarify the chariot. Quietly manifesting, look, your financial rewards, the nine of pentacles. That's what I'm saying. It's like you are, look, you're able to grow up out of worry, doubt, the nine of swords. You're able to, you know, once you go into a quiet retreat, the things, I feel like these are, um, situations that you've been dealing with, even um, more so financially, uh, decisions that you've had, you're having to make, things that you're waiting to come in. It's just like there's a lot of things on your mind that could kind of have you in this place where you are really needing to look. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles wanting to show up, show itself too. So that's what I'm saying. I feel like once you get into a place where you um, you're relaxed, you're quiet, you're listening, you're you know, tuned in to your, to your higher self and out of this place of where it's kind of like you're crying about your problems almost because I'm getting this growing up. It's kind of like, you know, sucking it up and, and moving forward, but it's like you're growing up spiritually too, in the sense where you're, you're able to realize your power. Definitely with this nine of pentacles, I feel like, you know, um, this is that harvest here that you're manifesting or that you're, and it feels kind of quick because that magician's wand, it's like whatever you're able to call it down from the spiritual realm. That's what it feels like. And that's why it's so important for you to be in quiet retreat this month. Like, I know that you may feel like you want to be out and moving or you want things to be like moving and shaking, but it does just feel like a time where things are kind of slowed down for you to get a different grasp, a different perspective so that you can manifest what you desire a different way and look yeah law of attraction that's what i'm saying it's like you're in this space where you just attract things to you not chasing things but letting it chase you like where you're attracting i feel like that's where you're having to grow up because in this energy of the two of swords you're not attracting okay it's like um you you know and there's a difference between quiet retreat where you know you're open to listening and just where it's just quiet like you're letting your thoughts kind of like it could still be quiet but you're letting your thoughts be loud and that's what i feel like is the issue here spirit is really saying um spirit is really saying to kind of take this time to disconnect from some things okay like things are going to kind of slow down. It's time to check in with your inner self. And that's how you kind of manifest your outer world. Cancer. Let's see what else. See, okay. Your life purpose. Um, I feel like, you know, this is definitely, there's something, it feels like a rebirth. It feels like a new spring in someone's life where during this quiet retreat, you could definitely get answers about your life work your life's purpose and that's where i feel like this growing up energy is here for you too cancer it's like you know you're um coming into your destiny pretty much it's like you're kind of growing into your purpose right so and and i feel like in this quiet retreat you're gonna be able to kind of spring into action or find out what action to spring into right so yeah things may be <laughs> things may be slow right now because I, I feel like spirit is definitely trying to slow some things down, okay? It is kind of like, um, I want you to really get a grasp on something. But there's a level up that happens once you learn this power, okay? So we got hired offer of employment. There could be, you know, um, someone's getting some type of opportunity in, sep in September, this opportunity could be coming in slow too because it's like this Knight of Pentacles, but I feel like whatever it is, it's going to be a stable offer and opportunity that's going to kind of lead to financial stability for for someone, for somebody. So that is, um, that is good for cancer. Give me one more. That's funny. Let the bag chase you with Sean. Oh, was there? Uh-oh. Hold on. 
yeah i feel like someone too is gonna be making like a big purpose i mean a big purchase like a grown-up per um purchase like a car or a house or something like that it feels like that and before you you know go into this commitment or whatever it's just like you really want to you know make sure everything is on the up and up you just want to be aware of this okay so check in with yourself right follow your dream is showing up i feel like you know you following your career dream that's what spirit is trying to confirm for someone because it's like you have two choices and the choice should be to follow your dream okay your life purpose your life work that's what it's time for you to kind of grow up into that and to follow that and i feel like you know the financial abundance is not a pentacles will definitely be the financial freedom that you're seeking right once you kind of grow up it's kind of like bossing up to the level up that's happening that's what it kind of feels like the quiet um like this the calm before the storm kind of thing it's like things are things are kind of quiet okay think there's not a lot going on where it feels like it's moving and shaking but there this is when the most happens this is when the most change happens so i feel like spirit is really just trying to open you up and make you realize something else okay that's the that's definitely the energy for september let's see what this prosperity message is so look we got chop wood showing up the number 42 card where i feel like yeah you're gonna have to make some choices some things are having to go okay um chopping wood on the chopping block okay hmm Four times two is eight, though. Eight is the number of abundance. I'm going to read the prosperity message for um, this card, though. Chop wood. So, um, but chop wood, the essential meanings are to be grounded, being grounded in your everyday experience, okay? So, definitely work on being grounded in September, okay? It's like, don't go chasing after anything, but rather ground yourself and be the thing that attracts what you're looking for okay so let's see the prosperity message here says that now is the time to take small steps rather than larger leaps on the journey to creating your most prosperous life all right move your focus off your big dream and attend to the mundane chores and this makes sense y'all with the Vir the whole virgo energy it's like paying attention to the particulars paying attention to the details getting the nitty gritty so it's like yes you have a bigger picture of a dream and you know you you are getting or having an understanding clarification of your life purpose but there are still you know little small tasks that may not be so dreamy that lead up to this dream of yours so be cognizant of that okay focus on the little things that may have piled up while you've been mapping out the greater plan for the life you aspire to see manifest into reality chop wood carry water see it's like you know you got to grow up and do the you know, the grown-ups have to do the mundane stuff. The You know, it's like, yeah, we've been in a child's kind of mindset where it's like, okay, dream big, you know, get the big vision, the big thing to go after. But now it's time to grow up and do the actual kind of work behind it, you know, the actual steps, okay? Chop wood, carry water, as the Zen proverb advises, or wash dishes, walk the dog. While you're doing all of that, spirit will have the chance to move mountains and set wondrous miracles in motion for you okay so remain humble and aware of the present so that's what i'm saying definitely with the quiet retreat it's like you know being grounded staying um humble and quiet and knowing that things are are moving around you okay so yeah this was a beautiful message i like i said september it's gonna feel it's gonna feel like things aren't moving it's gonna feel still it's gonna feel quiet you may not be hearing um you know from things that you wanted to hear from as quick it feels like things are a little slowed down because spirit is really trying to get you to see the power within you okay the and and you can realize this by honestly like if you don't get anything else make sure you're meditating okay quiet retreat meditating and then paying attention to the small details paying attention to the particulars now is the time to kind of pay attention to that okay so yeah you guys i'm gonna leave the message right here i really do hope that it resonates for someone and you found it helpful in some way please feel free to like share subscribe to the channel if you have not already you guys i'd love to have you a part of the fam talk to me down in the comments but do be aware of the scammers okay because they out here all right but bossladybtarot.com if you're interested in a personal 
reading or a one-on-one -on -one session. In the meantime, in between time, until next time, you guys. Love you.